Are you preparing for the Praxis Biology Content Knowledge Exam? This is test code 5236. I'm Bob and I'm a test prep expert with study.com and I'm here to help. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know to feel confident on exam day, including a test overview, preparation strategies, and five top tips for success. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Praxis Test Prep for more videos and sample problems. The Praxis 5236 exam evaluates the knowledge and skills needed for entry-level practice as a biology teacher. It aligns with standards from the National Council for Accreditation of Teacher Education, the Council for Exceptional Children, and universities. This assessment, developed with biology educators, aligns with state and national standards, including the National Science Teaching Association's guidelines. It evaluates content based on the disciplinary core ideas and science and engineering practices also from the National Research Council's A Framework for K-12 through Science Education and the Next Generation Science Standards. The exam consists of 150 multiple choice questions. The questions are divided into five categories. Nature and Impact of Science and Engineering, Cell Biology, Cell Structure and Function, Genetics and Evolution, Diversity of Life and Organismal Biology and Ecology, Organisms and Environments. Additionally, more than 40% of the questions will combine biology content with science and engineering practices, and about 25% will involve applying science knowledge in teaching scenarios or instructional tasks. These questions aim to assess your ability to use science knowledge in practical teaching situations. Tasks of teaching science highlights routine tasks vital for effective science instruction. Be sure to check out our channel for videos that go into a lot more detail for each topic and subtopic. In these videos, test prep experts review sample problems step by step so you will have a better understanding of the types of questions you can expect to find on the actual exam. As mentioned, there are 150 multiple choice questions. Some of these will require you to select multiple correct answers. You can identify these by the phrase, select all that apply. And here is where I want to give you the first two of my top test taking tips, which are one, to read each question thoroughly, and two, to read through all answer options before making your final decision. Misreading questions or rushing through the options can lead to avoidable mistakes. If you don't read all the answers first, you may choose A as it seems reasonable. The total available time is two and a half hours or 150 minutes. This means you have about one minute per question, and this is where I want to give you the third of my top tips, which is to aim for about 50 seconds per question, which will give you a buffer for questions that may require more thought. Top tip number four, avoid overthinking questions you are unsure about. Move on so you don't lose time. This computer-based test can be taken at a test center or at home through online proctoring. There may be some questions on the exam that will not be counted in your final score, but you won't know if the questions count or not, so just assume that every question counts. This brings me to my final top tip, which is to watch your time. The best way to ensure you stay on target is to do timed practice. This will help you get used to how long you have for each question. The first category is nature and impact of science and engineering. This section assesses your knowledge of scientific understanding, experimental design, data analysis, and lab techniques. It covers engineering design, the interplay between science, engineering, and technology, and their societal and environmental impacts. Additionally, it evaluates science applications in public health, medicine, and agriculture. The second category will be cell biology, cell structure, and function. This section covers the chemical basis of biological molecules, enzyme function, biochemical pathways, and energy flow in organisms. It examines the distinction between living and non-living entities, cell structure and function, internal maintenance, signal response, and eukaryotic cell division, including cell cycle regulation. The third area is genetics and evolution. This section covers nucleic acids, chromosomes, genetic information transfer and mutations. It includes lab techniques, 
Mendelian and non-Mendelian genetics, genetic variation, evolution mechanisms, evidence, and models. Additionally, it examines the origin and early evolution of life and factors leading to species extinction. In the fourth section, diversity of life and organismal biology, you will find questions that cover biological classification, characteristics of major life forms, viruses, eubacteria, archaea, protists, fungi, plants, animals, animal hierarchy, human organ systems, homeostasis, reproduction, development, growth, and behavior. For plants, it examines characteristics, material transport and storage, reproduction, growth, development, and environmental responses. The fifth and final category is ecology, organisms and environments. This part of the exam explores biosphere hierarchy, species relationships, reproductive strategies, population growth, and community structure. It covers human impacts, ecological succession, biomes, energy flow, and biogeochemical cycles. In the lead up to the exam, following these steps can be highly beneficial. Begin with a full length practice test to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Study.com provides personalized study plans based on your practice test results. Once you have your study plan, review the outline topics thoroughly. Utilize Study.com's lessons and practice problems to deepen your understanding of the material. Incorporate flashcards into your study routine as they are a versatile and effective tool for memorizing key concepts and terms, especially for exams with extensive content. Make it a habit to continuously review the material and practice problems. This repetitive process reinforces your knowledge and skills. Organize your study sessions to cover all the material, focusing more on areas where you need improvement. A well-structured schedule ensures comprehensive preparation. Additionally, complete full-length time practice tests to acclimate yourself to the test environment and manage your time effectively. This practice will help you stay calm and focused during the actual exam. On exam day, ensure you are updated on the requirements, such as what to bring and the test center regulations. Take care of your well-being by getting proper rest, nutrition, and hydration. Finally, approach the test with a positive mindset, staying calm and confident. I hope this video helps you prepare for the Praxis 5236 exam. Check out our other videos for more test prep and practice problem walkthroughs. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for updates. Let us know in the comments if there are specific tests or questions you'd like us to review. Once you've passed the exam, share your success in the comments so we can celebrate together. Good luck.